Welcome to Tech Results Armor. In this video, we are going to learn about next function in Kusto. Next returns the value of a column in a row that is at some offset following the current row in the serialized row set. So let's take a look and how this works. There are some parameters that you can pass, such as in the next, you can simply pass the column or with the column with the offset value or column offset value and some default value. So we are going to experiment with all these options in our demo. Let's go ahead and uh, see right here. So I have a table. Uh, let me see if, uh, let me drop the table first, uh, insert some rows. Uh, first create the table and then uh, we are going to insert some data. I will be providing this data in the description as well for your experiment. Now, first of all, let's uh, take a look uh, on the total sale table and I'm ordering by ID ascending. So that's uh, going to give us all the results uh, from the total sale table with the ID in ascending order you see right there now in case uh, if I would like to see next ID so this is our first ID and I want to create another uh, column right there and I would like to call uh, get uh, number two ID right there in front, uh, front of it uh, and then uh, for the number two I inst uh, in front of that I would like to get uh, ID number three and all that these uh, scenarios can be very helpful especially like uh, you want to have running totals you want to have uh, maybe uh, creating the IDs uh, by each um, uh, column or something like that. So th there are tons of scenario where you will be using uh, this type of uh, uh, function. Um, so here what I'm saying project ID. So get me only ID column, sale person first name, sale person last name and uh, then a, a, a new column uh, and use the next function here and ID. So here is our actual ID, here is our next ID. So I think uh, uh, for one here in the next ID, two will come for the two ID, number three ID will come and all that. So for, uh, let's go ahead and execute so you can see it better. Okay, here, see the ID one and then the next ID is two here. That's it, we are displaying right here. So we can give a name if you want uh, right there. So let me do this. So I'm going to call it next ID right there. Okay. So that's going to work for us. Let's execute the query and uh, you can see right there. So you can create uh, the value depending on in the next uh, row. See right there. So for number ID one, we have a use, uh, using the next ID right there. And then for two, three will display it for four, you know, and keep going. Now. Okay, now what we're going to do, we want going to offset. Uh, so in, instead of here where we have one here, then uh, in the right here, what we would like to do, we will like to jump twice uh, so we would like to uh, one two and three see two offset uh, so from id one uh, offset two go two rows uh, after that uh, so we can do that as well so execute this and now you can see that uh, see this is one and then offset two it means one two and that uh, i three will display right here and for this one so right here we have two and three number four will display right there so you can change uh, and whatever you want uh, you can have the offset uh, now here uh, what you see we can also don't have to have uh, only always uh, integer uh, columns you can uh, apply this uh, on your uh, other columns as well. So here is my string uh, column salesperson last name and uh, I am doing the same thing like uh, with the offset two. So you see right there, so we are getting all the records. I'm ordering by ID though here. So you can order by uh, salesperson last name or whatever you want, even with the first name, you know, it's your choice. So, so whatever the result set this uh, part is going to return, then uh, we are saying project. Uh, that means this, uh, give me only these specific columns. So I'm saying give me ID, give me salesperson first name, salesperson last name, and then go to the next and get me the salesperson last name after uh, two values. So let's execute and uh, take a look. So right there, see right there. So we have uh, uh, Amir here and then uh, uh, Alina here and then uh, we have a uh, Chirag. See right there, that's our salesperson last name. So see right there, we are saying from this row, that's our first row, you have to go two, per, two uh, values uh, below that. So that's what uh, it is uh, doing and for the next one. Uh, see this one. See right there, so we are getting Patel here and then we are pr printing Patel on the column one. We can always give a name, uh, next uh, uh, L name. Okay. So that's what we are giving right there. Now, what we are doing here, uh, uh, execute again, and uh, we are creating this column. Now, for the uh, this value for Alina Aman, let's say for Aman, 
now you will be going two steps ahead and you will be printing leads in here so a uh, new column is going to be two rows uh, next uh, and we're getting the value for us uh, so this is very helpful uh, i have another video where i uh, showed uh, running through roles and all those different values so you can use it you will be using uh, i'm sure you will come across those scenarios here as well but if you notice here there is one thing uh, we may miss in uh, there are uh, for this, uh, there are no uh, further rows there. So for last name Shehzad, uh, there isn't anything after that. So that's why it is a printing uh, us uh, blank here. So for Tony also, like uh, if you go two values right there, there is a Shehzad at the end, but there is no value after that. So we are having blank. And that's where this uh, third parameter comes in handy, where you will say provide the name of the column from uh, that you would like to get the value and uh, then uh, uh, you want to how many offsets you would like to do here we are going two offsets uh, and then uh, wherever uh, there is no value for the blank values you can fill in the blanks or whatever you want maybe just a hard code anything but uh, uh, you would li like to print uh, in my case i'm saying fill in the blanks i don't have to say fill in the blanks i can say blanks even or no values after that or something like that so see right there so it is a uh, sale person last name and uh, for, for here Ladson comes right there for Raza reverse comes right there and uh, it is uh, offsetting two values uh, and jumping to the two next values and then getting us uh, the last name and then uh, where at the end uh, there is no uh, rows available after jumping two so there, these were blanks uh, and uh, we just uh, exchanged with the or we hard coded the values in blanks or uh, none or na or something whatever we want to do we can do that so this is how you will be using the next uh, function in uh, Custo to get the desired results so thank you very much for watching i will put this uh, script in the description and you can use it uh,